Hi guys, Stribbers here, and welcome to episode 5 of my PGR2 Road to Platinum series. In the last episode, we managed to finish the Sports Convertible series and start on the Coupe series, and we did two races in the Coupe series. And we're going to be continuing the Coupe series today, starting off with a speed camera. And we're going to be using the M3 for this race. Picked it in green. 105 miles an hour for platinum and 103 for hard. So there's not a big difference on this one. And this is basically just um, one giant corner. And you come out of that corner and it's just on the end of the straight. This took me a few attempts. So you come into this apex, use the width, lay off the accelerator a bit and use the width of the track there, so you had just scraped the barrier but managed to get 105 miles an hour it takes a little bit of practice this one, it took me a few attempts but you have to just be nice and smooth through there 105 miles an hour passed on platinum, 5300 kudos and we didn't rank up that time first time in a while so the next race is going to be a one on one using the M3 again pick red and this one is in Sydney and it is against the M3 as well so like for like which is always the case for these one on ones because they're always the best car in the class which I'm not sure if it actually is in the lower difficulties I don't know if it changes but anyway on this first corner you can cut inside him there because he takes that quite wide every time I found and you have to take the second corner quite tightly there so it leads you into the third corner so you can go wide then cut in so there's always the opportunity to overtake him on that first corner. And now, this part of the track splits into two. So the computer actually goes to the left side of this barrier. And I never found that work for me as I crashed into the barrier there. But it actually um, brings you around to that corner quite nicely. But yeah, the, the computer takes that other corner um, and goes wide. So he's on the, the left side of that partition. And I'll show you on the second lap actually. I think there's a better view. And I didn't do that corner particularly well. This is quite a close race, this one, if I remember. The, um, the AI seems to step up at the moment in this class. Especially in the one-on-ones. So, second lap, still in the lead. Limits on that corner. And you have to power slide in again here. So you can go left and then cut in on this corner. See, the BM is right behind us still. I made a few mistakes, but overall it's not been too bad. So there, he goes on the left there, so we can take this corner wider and cut in. But I will always try and go this way. So there he is, right behind us again. He actually is, hits us up the arse there. This is really close, this race. Still right behind us. Managed to do this corner a lot better this time break, cut in here, just beat him, but we beat him, didn't get a clean race, 741 kudos though, not too bad at all, and he found the overtakes us after the finish line, 5700 kudos, ranked up again, kudos rank 14, and we're going to one of the hardest races I've done so far in this game, the next cone challenge, and I decided to buy the Audi S4 for this one. You can use the M3 or the S4, but I thought I'd try something different. 15,000 on Platinum and 3,700 on Hard. And that shows the difference in this cone challenge. You have to string the combo together for the whole race. So, what you're going to do, you're going to go through this first cone gate and you have to do a little power slide to keep your combo going to the second cone gate because you don't get enough speed off the start to link that combo together and because there's two laps when you come around the second time obviously you'll be going quicker so you can link those two together so you're going to break at that cone gate power slide round here I can't stress how long this took you guys to do this it must have been a good part of an hour possibly 45 minutes so you want to ease off the accelerator on this bit you don't have to push too hard on these um, with your speed just as long as you're going quick enough to make it to the next cone gate because the faster you go in, the more mistakes you're going to make. So, you want to ease off here, and you want to make sure you're doing a controlled power slide there. And then through here, you'll get a cone gate, you'll get a good line there, and you can get a good line and a power slide in there to 
get your combo up. And there's a clean section there. And ease off slightly here so you don't hit the cone or the wall. And again, ease off slightly here just so you can be a bit more controlled. And you want to power slide around this corner into this cone gate. Power slide around this one. Take this slightly wider so you can do a little power slide coming out because you're not going to be going too quickly at that point. That leads us on to the second lap, still linking that combo together, 58 now. Ease off the accelerator through here. Again, it's not all about speed, it's more control on this. Link all those together, brake at this cone gate, power slide here. That was pretty close actually to hitting that cone. You can full, fully accelerate through this bit, into the clean section here, and in this slalom bit, just ease off again. Get the good line around here, that's important, linking that cone gate to that cone gate. And you can accelerate all the way through here, then just ease off a little bit here. Again, breaking into a control power slide in there, you don't want to be hitting that wall. And then getting a good line to link these cone gates, and then you can get a good line and a nice slide through there. I don't think I got it that time actually, just a slide. But this corner again, through there quite carefully. And at this point I was sweating. Towards the end of the race, you can't make any mistakes here. Power slide there, had to avoid that cone gate. Another power slide, through the cone gate, and then power slide on the final turn. And you can power slide there to get another combo, but I actually failed there. I didn't get the slide before the race ended, but the whole combo plus the clean race, 16,700 kudos. And you get to keep all that as well, so 21,000 kudos we got then. That is a very, that is the hardest race by far that I've done. Yeah, it took me a few attempts and a few, quite a lot of swearing to get that one done, but we got there in the end. And the next race is an overtake, and I'm going to use the M3 for this. Seven cars in 3 minutes 55 seconds, and this one is in Stockholm. So, we are going to be overtaking the cars from the previous series in this. So, it's the sports convertible. Obviously, the slower cars at the back, quicker cars at the front. So, the MX-5 here you can cut on the inside nicely there. And sometimes in this race, I think the frame rate drops for some reason. I'm not sure why, but if you do spot any frame rate drops, I do apologise. The game doesn't like this race, obviously. So, we've overtaken the MX-5. And we are chasing down the next car. I think we end up doing about three, maybe four laps on this. So it does take quite a while, obviously three minutes. And the next car, is that the Audi TT? Yep. So I get behind him there and just slingshot past him. Two cars done, three minutes left. And here I actually went on two wheels. So it stopped me turning right. So I just crashed straight to the barrier. Slowed me down a little bit, could have restarted, but I thought before that I was doing alright. So we've got a quite a long straight here, which is good for us with the M3. Ease past the MR2 there, three cars now, two minutes 30 left, and I did this corner pretty well actually if I remember. That couldn't have been more perfect really, but in the next couple of laps I don't do that one quite as well. So we are gaining on the next car. I don't know what happened there. The car sort of twitched to the left and I had to power slide into the right, but it worked in the end. So that's the Z4, we're gonna go past here. And I tried to go past him and brake and turn, but he clipped the back end, so I ended up going straight. So I had to avoid hitting the barrier there. Four out of seven cars, just under two minutes to go. I think when you overtake this fifth car, this is when the big gap opens up. As you see on the mini map, the first and second car are quite far ahead. I think it's the better two cars in this class. And what's that? Is that another Z4? It's two Z4s. That was quite close actually. And then you got a uh, squish between the barrier and the Z4. Coming into this corner now. And that was nowhere near as good as my last attempt on that corner. Still got a good line coming out though, somehow. 
So we've got just over a minute to catch these two cars. You can see that car just disappearing around that corner. Just under a minute. I think it's the S2000. It is the S2000. So you can see, it literally goes from worst to best in the class. So the first one is obviously going to be the Porsche Boxster. So I overtake him at the same point that I overtook the Audi TT. So now we've got just under 40 seconds to try and catch this Boxster up. Luckily, we go straight on to the straight. Twenty-five seconds left. And you can see him there. So I thought, yep, yeah, we're going to catch him no problem now. And then I went and screwed this corner up completely. Back end hit the wall. Could have been a lot worse, to be fair. But now the clock's ticking. Ten seconds. I've got five seconds now. And this was close, actually, to be fair. Just under two seconds I had there. If I didn't mess up that corner, I would have been a little bit more comfortable, but. Seven cars overtaken, and we completed that race. 6,280 kudos there. Not too bad at all. Rank 16. And that is going to do it for this episode. So, in the next episode, we're going to complete the series with the hot lap and the street race. And we'll also do the first two races in the next series we unlock. So, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.